All right, Microsoft, the blue screen. I just realized if I'm not going to do it, who is going to do it? So let's slow it down and let me walk you through what just happened. Uh, what's the reason behind it and all the things that you should know about in the funny context as well as in the realistic context. Things are really, really serious. And in case you don't know what's just happened, Microsoft is facing a really, really crazy outage. And that's a really serious one. Let me walk you through what just happened. And this is exactly the point where there should be no blame game that should happen. And this brings out the culture of the company as well, that how well they are taking the situation and how this is all going on. And it's not just totally a Microsoft's fault, but I'll walk you through. Let me just give you the scenario of the situation without talking here and there. So in case you have been living under the rock, uh, I'm pretty sure you are not. So you might have seen this kind of things that are popping up. So Microsoft global outage, live update, Microsoft actively working to impact outage in the USA, worldwide outage outage in the Microsoft. So airplanes are down, they are not able to function. Stock exchange are getting impacted. Laptops are getting shut down. Oh man. And the whole thing that a lot of people are missing is this word, the crowd strike. So what is this crowd strike and what really just happened? So there are a lot of funny versions of this update that what has happened, how it has happened. Everybody's blaming, hey, this was an intern update. <laughs> uh, you can call it that, but I'll just walk you through what just happened and how does this happen? So you might see this account on the Twitter, uh, which is by Vincent. Yeah, Vincent, cool guy. So the profile says is very interesting one here. Former CrowdStrike employee, fired for an unfair reason, only changed one line of code to optimize looking for a job as sysadmin. Oh man, really, this gives you the impact of how powerful a programmer is and how powerful programming can be. So just one line of code can really bring all the system down to their knees. So if you look at the Vincent's profile, it's really uh, fun. This one is really an interesting tweet. Fired, totally unfair. I get you that, man. If just one line of code is able to pass through with so many of the security checks, so many of the testing checks, and you're able to push that, hey, you discovered something new. And uh, really totally up to you. Uh, but before that, there was an interesting tweet which says, first day at CrowdStrike, hooray, first job. Pushed a little update and taking the afternoon off. That's, that's a cool photo. <laughs> and after that, yeah, uh, this is now the most famous duck face in the world, seen millions of times around the world. <laughs> and you get the point. This is the man, uh, allegedly, uh, <laughs> allegedly responsible for all the stuff. And this is how you can see if you are in India, which I am, you'll see these kinds of news. Uh, PM Modi is closely monitoring the situation amidst a global cyber outage and all the things that are happening. But there are some interesting facts about it and some people have actually came forward to put the straight of facts. This is not just a blue screen of death. And yes, even I tweeted that out as a fun meme, so it's going on. But if you really want to know what's the reason behind it, there are two folks who actually did a pretty good job. One is Arpit, hey, big shout out to you. And uh, another one is Ray, hey, big shout out to you, Ray, as well. So if you just read about both of them, you'll come to know that what exactly happened, how it exactly happened. I saw many engineers blaming the outage on Microsoft, SWE is blaming without knowing the root cause of the concern. Uh, I would say it was partially Microsoft, but the partial one is very small part of it. The bigger part is somebody else. So it's not Microsoft, it is CrowdStrike, 100%. Yes, CrowdStrike is the major culprit. But the fact that Windows allowed this kind of uh, injection to happen that, hey, Microsoft needs some credit there, Arpit, <laughs> you need to give it, man. Uh, it is CrowdStrike who released an update for Windows that had a bug. And I'll walk you through what the bug is. Uh, the patch, oh, he mentioned this as, as well. The patch runs in kernel mode to monitor the system activity at low level. And this is how majority of the security system works. They actually want to monitor a lot of stuff which malicious application might do. So this needs to be injected right there. So there is no other way. Because it was running in the kernel mode, the buggy code was trying to access the invalid memory location perfectly spot on. Uh, that triggered a panic and which showed a software blue screen of death. But the thing after that is really, really panicky. Uh, the name of the driver file that the buggy update is c dash a lot of zeros and 291.sys, deleting it fixed the issues and unfortunately this needs to be done manually. Okay, this is like majority of the part is really, really nice, but this brings us to another tweet which actually does a better job of explaining the last part of it. But again, uh, no shortcuts there, Arpit, you are doing a fantastic job, so big shout out to you. But here is a more uh, detailed version which is easier to understand. Arpit did a fantastic job, but we can learn a little bit more here. 
I don't think uh, uh, you guys fully grasp how big this is. Around a billion computers are brigged worldwide, mostly corporate ones. So this impact actually doesn't impact much of the people who are using the pirated windows, which are a lot of people. But this is what happened. So coming and building on top of what Arpit mentioned, that yes, this was exactly by the CrowdStrike, an update was being pushed on, which needs to go into kernel, invalid memory location. And that's why majorly the blue screen of death happens, because there's some driver, there's some software which tries to access invalid memory. That's the root major cause of that blue screen. But now why it happened is uh, the impact after that is this part of it. So uh, this isn't just an online service going down for a few hours. Every affected computer needs to be rebooted in the fail safe mode. So the file that Arpit mentioned, yep, this exact file, this needs to be removed, but you cannot actually bring your computer up until unless you actually reboot it in the fail safe mode. And I guarantee this, how many people actually knows how to reboot a machine into fail safe mode. And those people who know how to reboot in fail safe mode are actually in the Linux. Yes, they are using Linux and have a driver, driver manually removed. That's the driver. How many of the people can actually do it? Uh, most corporate computers given to the employees don't let users to do this themselves. That is also a part of the problem because most of these employees license, they actually comes in a bulk and the system that is offered to the employee, there are restrictions on it, like crazy level restriction. You cannot even install softwares. You cannot even browse certain websites. So a lot of restrictions are there. And talking about rebooting in failsafe mode, uh, uh, no, that's a big no, no, the computer doesn't work that way. So even if they could imagine every single double digit IQ waggy trying to handle a moderately complex task when many don't even know know what a file is anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who knows how to access the files? How many of us really knows where is the boot file? Where is the init file? <laughs> Linux people knows it. The people who are at that stage knows it. But this is not affecting people who are at the higher stage. This is affecting everybody. And I don't expect anyone who is working in an aeroplane company, an aircraft company is able to do this. Now, I don't expect them. But yeah, a lot of fun tweet and a lot of stuff is happening. Aeroplanes are <laughs> down. And even in India, uh, deltas and all of this, even there was a lot of handwritten uh, boarding pass went around in India. You just look at the news. Look at the news like this big, man. Come on. Oh, man. Are we going like this? Not able to see the entire screen that when and where is my next flight? Oh man, this, this is not good. This is not good. This is scary. Imagine if I would be at the place uh, where I was traveling and I see this all over happening. Oh man, I don't know what this feed is anymore. But yeah, you got the point. I think Arpit might have some good feed up there to talk about this. Uh, yeah, what's the role of Microsoft here? Companies install the CrowdStrike software and that pulled the latest update, which had a bug. Microsoft did not auto install the software. Oh, good point, good point there, good point. Uh, full points to you on this one. But I would say that, yeah, kind of a yes, but the point that Microsoft allowed it, but hey, they have to, you are allowed to install software. That's the world we are living in. But there should be some protection. There should be some protection around it. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's how security software and spyware works. Absolutely. But uh, I agree with the point that Microsoft is not checking that, hey, the memory reference is there or not. But hey, what can we say? It's it's a fun day, man. It's a really, really fun day. And you'll see the lot of news, a lot of stuff is going on. You just look at the full coverage and oh boy, this is all over the place. So this is it, folks. This is the news that you shouldn't be missing out that, hey, Microsoft is a really, really fantastic day. And um, the guy who posted the coolest selfie, you know him as well. Uh, but yeah, good stuff, good stuff. That's how we all learn. And this is a lot of learning for the Microsoft, for the CrowdStrike and for us as well. And definitely do subscribe to the channel in case you are new one here. And if you're already up here, uh, I'm posting up a very soon a series about the Stack Overflow clone that we're going to build in Next.js and with the app, right? So stay tuned for that one. This was a bit of an emergency video, but hey, I'll catch you up in the next video. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe as well.